Hey guys, I've got a makeup tutorial for you today, and we're going to start with priming my face. This is a Valentine's Day look, by the way, if you hadn't already guessed. Priming with my Makeup Forever HD. Let that set. While I do that, I'm going to prime my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion, because that always is the first step. And now I have a new Maybelline color tattoo. This is like the nudie color that looks kind of like Steal a Kitten or Mac Bear Study. I'll put the title of it in the description below. I don't remember. But I really, really like it. Now I have Sin that I'm going to put on pretty much the whole lid to give kind of like that angelic sheen. I don't know. I'm not going to go crazy with the eyeshadow because guys don't tend to like when you go crazy with the eyeshadow. Now I have Last Call that I'm going to put in the outer corner of my eye with a fluffy brush just to give it a little bit of depth and a little bit of color. Just, just a little bit of something, you know. I love this eyeshadow a lot. <laughs> And I love this brush a lot, too. It's nice. Now I'm going to take Virgin and put that on my brow bone. I could come up with so many puns right now. And I have Face Atelier Foundation, my favorite foundation. It's so expensive, but it's so good. It's really good for sensitive skin. You guys should check it out. I think you can order samples online, but it's a really good foundation. It's like $45, but you don't need a lot because it's so pigmented. I'm going to blend that in with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush. Yeah. Now I have my Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer. It's taken me so much practice to not have a tongue twister when I say that, to not just blah, blah, blah. Now I'm going to blend it with my Real Techniques brush. I think it's the Deluxe Crease brush, the one that Pixie Woo always talks about, because it's such a great concealer brush. I'm going to blend it all in to erase my dark circles, because I haven't slept a lot this week. There you go. Blending out the blemishes. Now I have a new Sigma brow color I actually got yesterday. It was one of the colors that came in the like original... Sigma brow kit that was like $70, but this one was about 14 I think. It's similar to the Anastasia brow duos, but a lot cheaper. So I really recommend this one. This one's auburn, by the way, because my hair is red, and that's how it works. Speaking of Anastasia, I got her brow gel right here that I love, the clear brow gel, because you don't know how hot and heavy it's going to get on the evening of Valentine's Day, so you want to set those brows. And now this blush is from Ilamasca, and it's called Laid. Okay, Laid. I was going to use Orgasm or Deep Throat from NARS, but this color just worked a lot better, and the name was just as cheeky, so... So many puns! You might get Laid on Valentine's Day. Either way, you'll have Laid on your face. I don't know. And now I have MAC Light Scapade as my highlight. You can use whatever highlight. I don't really care all that much. This was my favorite. And now I just have a random loose powder sample. I think this is Smooth Operator from Tarte. Just gonna set the makeup and get rid of any sort of shine. Now I have my Benefit, the real mascara, to make your eyelashes flirty as hell because we're not putting on any sort of eyeliner. We're just gonna make the eyelashes the main event. And you can wear uh, false eyelashes if you want, but I'm not to be bothered with false eyelashes because I'm way too lazy. But I just pack on the mascara. So much mascara. So much mascara! Yeah. Now for the lips. Okay, this is Viva Glam Nikki too, which is a crazy lavender color. But if you want, you could use like a baby pink. But to make Viva Glam Nikki 2 work a lot better, I'm using kind of like a muted purpley lip liner really lightly around my lips. And then I'm going to tap on Viva Glam Nikki 2, just not full on, because if you wear it full on, you look kind of crack whorish. But this way, you just get a nice lavender tint. And then I'm going to put Rebel actually in the outer edges of the lips to give it kind of an ombre effect, I guess. To give it a little bit of depth so it's more wearable. Because it's a hard color to wear, I will give you that. But I don't feel bad, because it's for charity. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that look. I kind of like voiceovers. I don't know. Happy Valentine's Day!